Hello and welcome to Pocket Gaming Not Busy's YouTube channel. I'm John Jordan and this is our first time user experience playlist, so let's start up a game. So the game we're playing today is a uh, non-stop night. So this is a kind of interesting <laughs> interesting game, it's an idle game. So an idle game means um, it does stuff while you're not playing it. So we kind of saw this first with kind of games like Farmville. This is obviously a very different sort of game. So here's our little knight. He's in a dungeon. I'm not touching the screen at all. Off he goes. So basically, he's just also this is this is a, an autoplay game. I mean, that's kind of to be what idle games are. But now I have something to do. So I have a whirl, a whirl attack. So I press this. He does a whirl. We can see now it's the um, it's a time based attack. Now I have a leap attack. So we can see kind of how this game's going to work. Bash skeletons. Bash boneheads. My new skills. Okay. So very simple kind of interaction. It's not really telling me anything about the game. Just now I've got these two buttons, so I can just use them to kill enemies and then they just recharge so in a sense the the idea of this is the non-stop knight does all the hard work and we just come in and do the the cool bits so here's a boss so we've kind of like summoned the boss so there's an interesting way that you would approach different game designs there's the boss so I can just leave him or I can obviously use my attack and um, speed things up and surprise surprise there goes the big bad bonehead hooray we won so, how is this a game? Well, obviously, this is how kind of games are happening. We're seeing a lot of autoplay stuff coming from Asia, from Asia uh, but now a lot of Western games have autoplay. That's a, a, a big thing to do because what you care about is the meta game. So this game is kind of something that reduces the gameplay to effectively zero in the large cases, um, and makes you focus on the meta game, which hopefully should be interesting. So. Off we go, we're on floor one, so we can see now we've got a bit of UI going on, we can see at the top of the screen I've got to kill 20 enemies and I'll get something cool presumably. We can see there's a few things, there's a knight skills shop and ascend which are currently um, greyed out, so okay we're going to see a bit about metagame coins. So we all know about coins from free play games, so here's our little inventory. I've got a rusty sword, I've got some coins, I can upgrade it, spend, spend them. There we go, I've upgraded my weapons, do it when we have coins. So. There we go, so I'm collecting coins all the time, I'm tapping, doing a bit of this, and whenever I can upgrade something, my little uh, satchel is going to tell me. So there we go, what can I do? I'm going to upgrade my sword again, so rusty sword's being upgraded. While I'm upgrading it, it's still going, so it's, you know, it's kind of like an on-the-fly type thing. Leap into them, bash, so I've got a few more enemies to kill, then I've killed my first 20. Um, Okay, there we go. Two more to go. And notice I do have a health bar, so it looks like I can die if, if, if um, I didn't. <laughs> in some circumstances. So these guys just gonna continue running on. So he's on floor two now. I know what I can do. Ah, so I've got a shield. I've got an armor. So I'm gonna upgrade my armor. Armor gives me more health upgrading and stuff. Also, obviously, there's a a balance that will be happening in terms of when I've got coins. Do I want to upgrade my weapon or upgrade my armor? Um, well, there's another option there, but I wasn't there. What's this one? I don't know what that one is. I can't. In the far right, I can't option, um, choose that one yet. So at the moment, I haven't got enough. I haven't got. I can, I, you know, so I, it's nine goals to upgrade my sword or eight to upgrade my armor. I mean, so which one do I do? Um, not that it's making a lot of difference at the moment. You can see I'm much stronger than the enemy. So again, we've got rusty sword. Up we go again. So if I kill some more enemies, I'm going to change that achievement again, I suppose. Two more to do. So battle ready, so now I can boss guy, I guess, is going to come in. So obviously the boss thing, the reason that you're summoning the boss is that kind of key part of the gameplay that someone is not going to really want to necessarily come in and, and play just the battling these minions that's going to happen but to come in and go oh right I've got I can summon this is the latest boss I got to let's go in and get that boss that's kind of the the way they're linking in the autoplay with actually you doing something in the game and something that's cool in the game so you can see I've got loads of um, coins now what do we get from that this is a chest I had a chest in me so a chest okay so this is the extra thing a cloak so I don't quite know what they do but unlock it. A flower cloak gives me a perk. Okay. And you can see I can sell it or I can re-roll. So there's another currency in there. So there's a what they call soft currency, the gold and the hard currency, the gems which are used in slightly different ways. So um, I'll 
So, okay. so we've got basically we've got a weapon and an armor and then a, a modifier. Um, you see the next one to get to the next boss, I have to kill 16 enemies. And still, this is kind of you know we're going through a effectively you know, first image experience and tutorial. So there's stuff like the shop and the ascend we haven't even got to yet. Um, so the other thing to kind of note um, is this is a portrait game, so it's a game that you would use when um, playing on an iPad, but it's a game you play on your phone, just have kind of clicking away in your in your pocket and you know, pull it out at an opportune moment, just go in, kill a boss, off it goes. Um, so it's a, we'll see if there's a way we can show this actually. So it's just come out of the game. Let's just do the last boss. Um, okay, so we can summon the boss now, can we? Oh, no, what happened there? I don't know, I didn't get the option to do the boss. Okay. So let's just come out of the game for a second. So we'll just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. <laughs> okay, let's go back in and see what happens. Okay, didn't do it. If you come out for longer, you'll, when you go back in the game, it will tell you how many how many guys you've killed. But it tells you it takes longer than ten seconds. Either. Which is kind of quite a nice way of coming back to a game and not you're not just coming back to a game. Often you go come back to the game and go, I wonder what happened, or can I remember what I was doing in the game in this kind of game? Because you don't do anything <laughs> anyway. Just kind of looking and goes, your your knight has killed all these minions. Here's some rewards. You know, off you go again. Um, so it just kind of you know it has a kind of clicker element to it really. Um, but it's much cleverer than the cleverer than clicker game because it has this action element. Now the interesting thing will be whether this is enough for obviously kind of hardcore RPG guys. Probably not. There's not enough inventory. There's not enough of you no know, squad that we can. I doubt there'll be any squad in there. You know how far the the meta game can be interesting um, will be will be the measure of the game. I guess is success because um, to monetize it, you obviously need people playing for for weeks and months. Um, but in terms of this has been something that will appeal to, to a more casual audience. Okay, so now we've got some. In the go into the shop, so I can watch a video for instant XP that will that will um, level me up, um, and some upgrades, which I haven't got enough resources for, so it's not showing me. So there's this other. It looks like there's another currency here. This kind of um, gold ring with a purple gem in the middle. Don't know what that is. Uh, so there's the gems, the cost of the gems. So um, the most expensive one's fifty dollars. Okay, so it's kind of standard retail, I suppose. Um, let's uh, rusty sword. Okay. So yeah, so that's non-stop night. Anyway, so it's an interesting approach. Um, certainly from a Western developer. This is um, uh, it's a uh, Finnish developer. Published by um, Flare Games in Germany, and um, so very much a European um, take on the kind of Asian approach of kind of autoplay. And graphically, it looks very nice. Um, but I just guess it's kind of finding its its market where very could be played by very casual people, but all very casual people download a game that's about dungeons. I guess that's the that's the the, the tricky thing that. Um, the publisher and the developer will have to kind of sort out in terms of their marketing spend or alignment. Okay, so thanks for watching. Um, this is our first time user experience playlist, so we do a lot of this um, playing games for the first time. Um, there was a boss coming. Um, so if you subscribe, you won't miss anything. We also do a bit more um, in depth stuff when we've been playing games for um, you know, weeks, months um, to get a better idea of kind of the, the, I guess the mid game at least. So if you uh, subscribe, you won't miss any of that. Uh, thanks for watching and hope to see you again.